bow tie, first invented by a group of Croatian mercenaries during the Thirty Years' War in the 1600s. Well, there were some very fashion-forward French people that saw these Croatian mercenaries wearing these ties around their neck that kept their shirt collars together, and they said, wow. That's something that looks pretty good and it's pretty handy. And so then they took it, they dolled it up, they made it all nice, and now the bow tie has spread throughout the entire world, such as the kingdom of God. One particular group of people, the people of Israel, reduced all the way down to Jesus, now a kingdom that grows and branches out throughout the entire world. And you, through faith, are a part you are a part of that kingdom. You've been grafted into Christ. You wear the bow tie of salvation. But Paul would tell you, don't get too cocky because it's easy for us to fall into unbelief. If we stare down on all those other people who have cast aside their bow ties, and if we get all high on our horse and think that we are invincible, well, then we've stopped staring at the trunk. We've stopped staring at Christ, the one who ties us and binds us all together. And then we find ourselves in danger. But we also have this assurance that the entire story, the entire promises, all of those are ours. We've been tied into all of these things. And so we invite you to join us this Sunday as we continue our sermon series on Romans, and we'll see how we've been tied into Christ and how through faith we remain tied to him. Mm -hmm.